okay, it is now 1.50 on Sunday, September the 16th or something. As you can see, it's working. Um, and it's very silent. I really like it. Um, here's the food bowl. I put this here in an attempt. Uh, we'll see if this works because it's just millimeters away from being able to fit in there. Um, so I might have to get a container that fits in this exact area. But um, I'm hoping they don't get bedding in there. Uh, if it really does, then I will switch to fleece. But I really don't want to because fleece is just going to be a real pain in the neck. Uh, when you consider... Um, when you just consider the fact that with fleece, um, you have to do towels as well. Um, so anyway, um, I'm pretty sure certain that everybody is very, very thirsty. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and um, see what Moki thinks. Because I can do Moki one-handed. She won't kick me. As you can see, see she's very well behaved. Um, Let's see what she thinks of the water. She must be really thirsty. No? Don't want to drink any water, baby girl? Okay, well, let's try cafe latte. Are you going to be a good boy? Or are you going to kick me? Are you going to be a good boy? And it has nothing to do with the way I, I hold him. He kicks regardless. Um, no? Um... So as you can see, the hay racks work. Um, as you note, that I have a black clip right there. That's to keep it from like just moving too much. And I basically like dusting off the hay pieces onto the tray. Uh, it just keeps it from moving as much. Um, it's really beautiful, actually. And there's a couple more clips. I don't know if you can see it underneath. That's just to keep it slightly out. Um, but um, Mocha here decides she wants to hide. Um, I haven't quite decided what I'm going to do, but, um, ideally I would like to find an igloo that's that big and covers it. But, um, uh, as you can see, I did take the wire. So I am going to actually be bold. I'm going to actually leave them alone with this thing and see how it goes. It doesn't actually normally make the sound. It's still filtering the water, that's why. So, um, everybody... Um, so yeah, everybody's got, it's, it looks good. Um, it's using half a sheet of potty sheet. And, um, yeah, I, it does leak a lot of hay, but then again, compared to the bowl idea that I had in a bowl previous to this, I mean, this is still better. And they'll still eat that stuff. And it was the same as putting in a corner potty anyway. Um, the only difference is they can both fit in there now together, so they can graze together. I have no idea why I put the box here, but, um, ideally, I really should put it right here, like right here, but, um, the last thing I want is them to tip the box in there or something, but, uh, and he really likes this box, so he runs in there really fast, which is one reason why, um, but anyway, that's it, I'm gonna see how this goes, uh, yeah, and I'll probably put this right here. Um, the reason for that is just so he, if he pees, it doesn't... Well, no, I think I'll just leave it. If he pees, he pees, oh well, I think I'll live. So I'm trying to minimize the bedding that's over here by pushing the bedding over here. Um, I'm hoping they don't pee as much over there. But um, yeah, okay. I'm going to go out now and get the other one uh, while they still have them hopefully, because I'm actually going to go to the Richmond location, not the one at um, Grandview, because uh, that one's a little far. Um, so yeah, here's hoping it works. I will know when I come home if this is worth keeping. Uh, how I'll know is, uh, well, there won't be any bedding strips in there, um, and 
yeah, I might have to hang something like a towel or something over it just to prevent them from really going mad dash. Um, ideally, one idea would be just to clip um, a grid to here. But um, we'll see. We'll see. I'm not sure why it makes all these sounds. It could just be because it's not heighted properly. Okay, I'll see you guys later.